I hope. Thank you for joining us today here at the Mooresville Public Library. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure for us as well. Now, when did you first realize you wanted to become a writer? I think when I was a little girl, I started writing poems um, about nature. I wrote a poem about Queen Anne's lace um, that I really liked. And, and then in high school, I wrote a lot of poetry and on into my 20s. I have kind of always wanted to be a writer. Um, it wasn't until my 60s that I actually made writing a career. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Now, how has your family supported you during your writing process? Um, my, my family has supported me a lot. Um, my mother was particularly supportive when I was a teenager. She would take me to creative writing workshops and read my poetry, and you know, even though it was kind of bad at the time. And, uh, and she would support me reading my short stories and everything like that. Um, and my husband now, with my writing career being what it is now, he's been very supportive you know, encouraging me to follow my dream, even though, um, you know, it's not bringing in very much money or anything like that, but, but he is just very supportive of my following my dream. That's wonderful. Now, what has been some of the more surprising things you've learned while creating your books? I think one of the um, most surprising things that I learned is that I have a sense of humor. I, I didn't think when I was, um, writing all these poems about, you know, death and angst and, you know, all these serious poems that I was writing that I, that I was very funny, but I, f I have found through time that I'm pretty funny and some of my poems are very funny and certainly a lot of my writing in my novels and my nonfiction, there's a lot of humor in that too, so that's been surprising. Now, what inspired you to write the book that you're featuring right now and can you tell us about it? Sure. Um, How to Remodel a Life, a Guide to Living Well with Alcoholism and Bipolar Disorder is based upon my own life story. It's part memoir, part self-help. And the memoir part tells the story of my dealing with the diseases of alcoholism and bipolar disorder. And the self-help part are the questions that toolkits at the end of each chapter that give suggestions that I've used over the 39 years that I've been sober, um, telling you how to handle these diseases and how to recover from them. So um, it's really been uh, a lifelong journey writing this book and getting it written, and um, it's, it's a labor of love, I'd have to say. That's wonderful. Now, do you have any suggestions to help other interested writers become better? I think that the most important thing is just to do it. You know, I think a lot of people want to be writers. They want to um, get going and write down their thoughts and explore their lives, but they're afraid that maybe they won't be a best-selling author or they won't write anything worthwhile. and let go of that stuff. Just don't even think about that. Just do it. Just get out there, get a journal, start writing every day, three pages a day, and um, and do it. And pretty soon you'll see you're writing a lot more than you ever thought you could. And just practice, practice, practice. That's the way to get to be a good writer. Well, that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to spend with us. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Our pleasure.